this intensely dramatic neon smoke nail art technique is surprisingly easy to create. I've started here with first of all two cured layers of shellac dark dahlia which I finished with shellac express 5 top coat cured and removed the sticky top film from. Now with the Lucente D1 brush you'll see I've applied cream puff shellac in a kind of messy squiggle and what I'm doing here is going back in with blobs of disperse that's isopropyl alcohol on the brush so given that cream puff a bit of a splodge a bit of a poke allowing the disperse just to drop on is going to have the effect of the colour spreading out at the edges giving us this smoky smoky look that we're after. So you can keep playing with this really for as long as you want. If you're doing several nails or a full set of these it's ideal because you do a little to one nail move to the next while the last nail is drying a little bit as the the IPA evaporates and you just keep going until you're happy with it. You cure that once you are happy with the design. And now with my Lucente Neon Powders and world famous G1 brush, I'm coming in and adhering that to the cured cream puff smoke design. I chose to do a blue, green and yellow here and I'm going to give them a good rub with the dry G1 brush just to get them all to blend together and finally dusting off any excess. The neons won't stick to the colour in the background because remember that had already been top coated and had the top film removed before we applied the cream puff. Now it's time to go straight on to top coat. Again, I'm using Shellac Express 5 top coat. Now this design requires two layers of top coat, so for that reason, Express 5 would definitely be my choice to reduce the overall thickness of the finished nail. After curing top coat, we removed that top film and we can enjoy how fabulous this looks. I can't even believe how much I love the look of this nail. My clients are going wild for it. I hope you have fun trying it out. Thanks for watching.